What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. It's me, Just Yarek, and today I've got a brand new video for you guys. It's been a while, but I think this car will make up for it. It's the E53 AMG convertible. We're gonna take a look on the inside, on the outside of course, and uh, hear the exhaust clip and um, maybe take it for a spin, we'll see. Take the top off as well. It's absolutely gorgeous. You can buy this car at Baan Twente, it's in the Netherlands. They lent me this car very kindly, so I could drive it around and uh, see how it feels like. But before we do that, you know how it works. Let's dive into the beauty shots. Here we go. Now you've seen some beauty shots of this car, let's talk through some specs. It's a V6 engine and has 435 brake horsepower or 320 kilowatt. Uh, automatic gearbox obviously with pedal shifters behind the steering wheel. And it accelerates from, four, from 0 to 100 in 4.5 seconds or 0 to 60, depends on where you live and what kind of metrics of course. The new price in the Netherlands of this car including tax is 130,000 euros. Now we've checked the, uh, the figures of the car. Let's have a look around. As you can see, nice 20 inch wheels, multi-spoke. These are very expensive. Turbo Formatic, of course, you guys know. Very aggressive front end with the AMG grill and the very nice multi-beam LED lights. And there's a soft top roof, obviously. Black mirror caps, also very nice. Soft top roof. Closes very fast, I have to say. Um, I've tried it in uh, while driving as well. Low kilometers power, of course, you can open and close it. Don't know exactly what speed you can. I think up to 30 kilometers or 50 kilometers or so. There's obviously lights. The nice spoiler on the rear to make it more aggressive. And look at these exhausts, they're insane. Four pipes, nice small diffuser. And uh, also the matte trim line next to the windows. I think it's a very clean spec, though I have to say that I have my doubts about the color. I would normally pick it in black or dark blue or something like that, that. but um, yeah, it's nice. Okay, so now we've seen the outside of the car and run through some specs, some basic specs. I don't want to overload you with specs because I think there are a lot of candles doing that. Let's have a look at the inside. So, let's move on the inside of the car. The car is equipped with the very nice expensive sound system. This Meister. Heated seats, obviously, both sides. Electronic seats, you can adjust them. Very nice. Park lane assist and all those, those kind of features also is equipped with. Pedal shifters behind the steering wheel. And what's really nice, it's fitted with the Zinio package. So look at these brilliant seats. Diamond stitching. I really like it. Oh, it turned a little bit dark. Let's see. Diamond stitching seats. And uh, the gloss finish. The different driving styles, obviously dynamic. Uh, we can turn the car on so I can show you. With the button here. Yeah, there it goes, AMG. To make sure you're driving AMG remind you of that also at the display so navigation the wheel automatically comes down when you close the door you you've seated yourself into the very comfortable seats uh, now when we run through some specs you can see we've got individual 
a comfort mode, sport, and sport plus. And this is fun. Revs go up slightly and the exhaust is open. I'll do it again. Exhaust is open, also says it on there. Powerful exhaust, ESP on. Well, I really like these round uh, air vents, they're really cool. Also the, the lighting that you can change in different colors. Now it's turned into blue slash purple. And, um, and of course you can stiffen up the uh, suspension over here. Uh, ESP turn on and off, exhaust button, volume, uh, camera modes. What do we have over here? The flat bottom steering wheel. I haven't shown you just yet. I've talked about the lowering the, uh, the steering wheel, but you also have, of course, multifunctional uh, lane assist. You can turn on your cruise control with this. Limit your speed limit. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's really nice. Now, of course it's convertible. So how do we do that? We pull this button over here. It opens the windows, as you can see. I I hold the button back and it completely opens the sunroof. It doesn't really take too long, so adjust the windows again and we're all done. That's how fast it goes, it's absolutely insane how fast. Um, well, let's hear the exhaust noise from the inside. Put my auto mic on so you can hear it. Okay, what else do we got? We of course have navigation. We're in the navigation stream right now. Radio, very nice, media. So I run through the settings very basically, just showing you what kind of modes you have. You obviously have more, but um, yeah, I think it's too in depth for right now. I want to see if I can share some sound clips with you. I hope the microphone picks it up and uh, well, uh, let's do it. Here we go. I want to hear the pops and bangs. I have to be careful on the gas, otherwise. Yeah. Oof, oh, that was loud. Nice, nice, I like it. And the driving is very smooth as well. Of course, I'm now driving on the uh, on the autobahn, on the highway, freeway, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Speed limit is 100 here, so I'm not going over it. Obviously, those short pulls don't really make a difference. But um, yeah, it's it's a very nice and uh, balanced out yeah balanced out car, uh, performance-wise and comfort. So I'm now easily cruising in eight gear. I think it's probably shifting to night now very soon and um, very comfortable so <gasps> it sounds very good I think like I said and uh, like I said before the sound is, is very good maybe even better than the V8 I don't know the V8 makes more pops and bangs is of course louder but this sound is very is still elegant but also brutal so when you put the throttle down, you know it's going. It's about to happen. Firework is on. Um, so I drove this car for a couple of minutes and um, I think it's absolutely insane. The comfort, the ride comfort is very good. Of course, when you stiffen up the expansion, it's a little bit um, stiffener, so that's good. Uh, acceler acceleration, you feel it. The sound is there. 4.5 seconds, like I said, from zero to 100. And I, I thought the V6 is a little bit um, like calm or something. Well, that's what I thought beforehand, but when I now drove the car, it's really nice. I think it's very smooth. The sound is maybe even on point. I do really like the AMG sound from the V8 engines, uh, but while I've driven this, this V6, I think it's on point. Uh, I don't know why, but the sound is very smooth. Um, it still has a rumble, it still pops and bangs sometimes, and uh, I don't know what to say. I really, really am impressed by this car, and it's an absolute cruiser. But at the same time, when you want to drive a little bit more sporty, you can do that just by the switch of a button, turn dynamic mode into Sport Plus or whatever, configure your own mode, and then you're ready to go. 
the roof is open let's hop, hop out of the car to see how it looks like with the roof down as you can see very nice lines very elegant but still very sporty and cool looking nice finish on the back of the mercedes has the wind reflector i didn't find a wind reflector at the front though it didn't pop open i don't know why if the if there is one but I have to say it didn't really feel uh, weird while driving it with the top down. Uh, it's not really a warm day, but still it was uh, warm with the, uh, with the heated seats on, so that's nice. Another thing that I've just noticed, you get some air ventilations in the back here. So, what do you guys think about the E53 convertible? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's good sounding? Do you like the color or would you also pick a different kind of color? I think I would go for black or with red or very dark blue. But um, of course, everyone has its own taste. In general, I like the car, it's elegant. Like I said many times, elegant and very cool and aggressive looking at the back as well. Comment below, leave a like. And uh, if you want to see more content, please subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Cheers. Well, this is the real outro. I hope you guys liked the video. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up. Uh, I do my best to improve the channel, obviously. Um, give me some feedback if you want. Uh, more car, more whatever. Just name it and uh, I'll try to do my best. See you next time. Cheers.